issues of life TV. Welcome to Issues of Life TV. If you are new, come on, subscribe, subscribe. This is where we look at life from a godly perspective. That is what the channel is all about. And my name is Bola. Thanks for joining in today. And Happy New Year to all our subscribers. We are very grateful for subscribing. God bless you. And don't forget to share. All right. So moving into the new year. Year 2021. God is so good. And the question that I have for you today is what is your new year's resolution what is your new year resolution many times in the new year we have many different kind of new year resolutions we might say i want to lose weight i want to be more healthy i want to get married i want to have children i want to have a better career i want to change my career i want to learn more so many good things you know sounds very good but what about the things of the spirit what are some of the new year resolution that we can actually consider for us to grow closer to god have a deeper relationship with him and prepare for the coming of jesus because it's so evident that the the coming of jesus is imminent it's so soon sooner than yet last year right so preparing for that the new year resolutions that will prepare us for the coming of jesus and help us to make it to heaven things that will help us to grow spiritually it can be i want to learn god's word more i want to know his word more and for me to do this i'm going to engage in a bible plan for a year it can be that i want to have a closer relationship with god i want to spend more time with god in the morning so it might be spending time in earlier or making up earlier you know giving away sleep so that you can have more time with the lord in the morning it can be that you know i want to evangelize more so it's actually making a conscious effort to tell someone about Jesus. It can be that, you know, I want to give more. I want to, I want to bless more lives. So reaching out to different organizations where they're giving out money to those that I need and, and, and has a gospel undertone. So there are so many spiritual things that we can consider for the new year. And when we look at biblical characters, like what might have been that new year resolution starting with paul paul the apostle paul that went about preaching the gospel one of his statements in philippians 3 10 was that i might know him and the power of his res resurrection so i can conform unto him even when it comes to suffering so that i can be like him even unto death you know so paul new year resolution might have been to know christ more to have a relationship with Christ more. Even at that time, you know, after all he has done, that was his request, that was his desire. So it's not something that we continue, we finished on knowing Christ. We continue on in the journey of knowing God. So that would have been, that might have been Paul's New Year's resolution. And let's look at David. David, the man after God's heart. David's New Year resolution might have sounded like, so that I can inquire more from the Lord. So that I can be a man after his heart. That I may pant for him just like the deer panted for water. That I might always be in his presence every day of my life. That might have been David's New Year resolution. Let's look at Mary. Mary, the mother of Jesus. Mary's New Year resolution might have sounded like that I will be his handmaiden and be unto me according to his will. That I might submit to his will and not fight against the will of God. That might have be Mary's New Year resolution. What about John the Baptist? John the Baptist, New Year resolution might have sounded like this, that I might prepare the way for the coming of Jesus, that I might baptize and announce his coming and let it be known that Jesus is the Messiah that they have been waiting for. What about Jesus himself? Jesus Christ, the Son of God. His own New Year, res New Year resolution might have sounded like this, that I might do the work of him that sent me while it is day. That I might surrender my life and save the world. That I might fulfill the purpose of my birth, which is to save the world. What about Peter? Peter's New Year resolution might have sounded like this. That I might preach the gospel with boldness and not be timid. 
or will not be afraid of the faces of the people. But I might preach the gospel and many souls will be won through me. That might have sounded like Peter's New Year's resolution. What about Abraham? Abraham's New Year's resolution might have sounded like this. That I will be a man, a man of faith. That I might obey God and do whatever he asks me to do. And sacrifice whatever he asks me to sacrifice. And, and leave my father's house if he asks me to leave my father's house and just do the will of God. That might have sounded like Abraham's New Year's resolution. And the list goes on and on. What about the three evil boys? Their New Year resolution might have sounded like this, that I will not bow to other gods, that I will not allow the pressure of this world to make me to, to, to begin to derail from the presence of God. That I will not allow the pressure of this world to make me to compromise my faith. But that I will stand firm and live the life of holiness and righteousness. Whatever it might cost me. And my sound the same for Daniel too. Daniel own might be the same as well. That he will stand for righteousness. And even if it comes to getting into the lion's den, it does not matter. He will still continue on in standing for what he believes in. That might have been Daniel's new resolution. What about Esther? Esther that said, if I perish, I perish. That lived a life of selflessness. A new year resolution might have sounded like that. That if I perish, I perish. I will save my people. I will save my people from the oppression. I will do what is right in the position of which I am in. I will use my position for the, for the followers of the kingdom of God. I will let the people that are following me in any form of platform to hear the gospel, to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then when we look at Martha, Martha, the sister of Lazarus that died, Martha's New Year resolution would have sounded like this, that I would trust him more. And when he says, yes, he will do it, I will believe that he will surely do it. That I will not worry or try to figure out how he would do it for me this year. But I would just absolutely trust in him, trust in Jesus, trust in God, and not become too over familiar with Jesus that I would have forgotten that he is the one that has the same power to raise the dead. That might have been Martha's New Year resolution. So you listening to me, what is your New Year resolution? What is your New Year resolution? In a time like this is the time where we need to sit upright, even as Christians, and begin to figure out what is it that God wants me to do. God, search my heart. How am I with you? How is my relationship with you? Just like David said, Lord, search me, Lord, and see if there be any wicked ways in me. This is the time where we need to go to God and be open and transparent before him. And let him see our weaknesses and say, God, here are my weaknesses. I struggle with this. I struggle with this last year, 2020. I don't want to struggle with this again. Help me. Deal with me. Help me to be crucified completely so that I will be living in you. So this is a time for us as Christians to rise up and make New Year resolution that will help us to grow spiritually and prepare us for the coming of Jesus Christ. So that when it comes and when we, or when we go home, we'll be able, we'll be able to welcome us, says, welcome, on, welcome us and say, well done, my faithful servants. So if you are listening to me and you have not yet given your life to Jesus and you're living in sin, or you might say, oh, I do good, I do all that. But the truth of the matter is, it is in sin that we have been conceived. And we all need the Savior. And his name is Jesus Christ. So turn away from your sin. And confess him as your Lord and Savior. And to do that is very simple. Just believe in him and say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. Forgive me for all my sins. I repent from them all. Have mercy on me. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Please write my name in the book of life. That I will know you and I will be closer to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. With that prayer by faith, you are now born again. 
So find yourself a Bible-believing church and begin to have a deeper relationship with the Lord. Get a Bible, begin to study, begin to learn about the God that you have surrendered your life to. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to share, like, and give it subscribe. Issues of Life TV. Issues of Life TV. Guard your heart. Guard your heart.